Welcome to In An Instant, my name is Ben, and today we are doing something completely outrageous. We are shooting celluloid film inside Polaroid cameras. We're taking 35 millimeter and four x five film and putting them where they shouldn't go. I am joined by this gaggle of goons. Dan, Nick, Abel. And together we are going to undertake this absolutely ridiculous idea and try to bring it to fruition with a variety of cameras, including an iZone camera, a Captiva or Captiva, SX70, Spectra, basically the whole gamut of the Polaroid family. And we'll see what we can do. So let's kick it off. Let's do it. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. Now we're gonna load up the tiniest cartridge with 35 millimeter film. We're hopping over to our Polaroid Go cameras. Uh, I think one of the funniest things about this is A, 35 millimeter film is not like that dissimilar from the size of Polaroid Go, so the strip with the sprockets will fit on the dark slide very nicely. The other thing is we don't really know the true resolving power of the Polaroid Go lens, and 35 millimeter film, if it is kept flat enough, and doesn't like warp and have focus issues, we should be able to see like how sharp is the Polaroid Go lens really? This is really applies to everything we're doing today, but the Go in particular as the newest product, it's an interesting experiment. And now let's go over to Abel who's gonna explain exactly how we're doing this. So we're gonna be loading some U4 HP5 in this lovely, cute, cute little boy. For that, we're gonna be basically loading cartridges. The dark slide we're gonna be uh, putting here a strip of film. And for the, as you know, when you put the cartridge in the camera, right away it ejects the picture, right? We don't wanna do that because this dark side is gonna have our film. So what we did is to cut a little notch on the corner of the dark slide. That's gonna result on the camera a pickup arm not being able to push the dark slide out. We'll take that and then we're going to then take it and put it into the Go cartridge so that it is fully loaded. And then it'll be ready to shoot and we can take it and then we'll, still in the dark bag, we will load it into the camera and now it's ready to go. And see, it doesn't eject the dark slide because we cut that little notch out of there. And we covered up the tape, uh, like the LEDs on there so that in the dark bag it doesn't uh, light leak any of our film. Now this would be ready to go. The, the placement of the negative in there is vertical. So vertical like composition is ideal so that there's not too much on the sides getting cut off. And, and centered, really. Yeah, and centered, exactly. Shooting 35 mil in the go was absolutely the easiest challenge we undertook, with just a single strip down a well-fitting dark slide. There wasn't much that could go wrong, and the results through this tiny camera were really impressive. Now we go from the smallest to the largest formats, shooting 4x5 and 35 mil in the Polaroid Spectra. We're going to be taping 35 millimeter film across the surface of this Polaroid Spectra image. Uh, it will not eject through the camera as a result of us cutting this notch out, and thus we will have 35 millimeter film in rows. Um, and, and the other thing we're doing with, with the Spectra is because we can fit several strips of 35 millimeter on here, we're gonna overlay them a little bit so that there's no gaps in like the sprockets. So the sprockets will actually overlap with each other. The other component of this process to make this much easier to load is we're removing the door of the cartridge. Um, we don't need it anymore. Uh, we're loading everything in the dark and the camera is light sealed once the film is inside. So we do not need this door and it makes it much easier to throw the film in there, not scratch it. The width of the Spectra film is the exact same with the 4x5 sheet of film. So we just need to do one cut on the on, on the 4x5 film and we'll just fit right away in the cartridge. And it really makes uh, me upset thinking about Spectra was basically like 4x5 instant film. So. R.I.P. Spectra. Like the Polaroid Go, shooting 4x5 in Spectra was quite easy to load due to how similar the film sizes are. And the results are killer. The flash went off. While 4x5 was easy to manage, we had less luck with the 35 mil. The biggest challenge posed here is film flatness. Since the film doesn't sit totally flush on the dark slide, we got some frames that were warped out of focus in areas they shouldn't have. We also lost most of our third frames due to the cumbersome development process that required loading tiny strips into reels that are really not intended for that. 
We shot 35 millimeter film in the Polaroid Spectra. Yes, sir. We shot 35 millimeter film in the Polaroid Go. Yes, sir. Now we're gonna shoot 35 millimeter film inside the Polaroid SX70. Most certainly. And this lens is golden. Uh, as you might remember, I did do something like this before. We shot 10 types in the Polaroid SX70. Yes, sir. And it was absolutely unbelievable the level of detail that was uh, resolvable on a tin type through the SX70's lens. Unexpected. Usually you're shooting Polaroid film, which doesn't have inherently that much resolving power. And just to betray it even further, just to make this even more sick, I'm gonna take a picture of an SX-70 with an SX-70 loaded with 35 millimeter film. Sheesh. Which, if that's not a sheesh, I don't know what is. Being able to use sonar autofocus right now? <laughs> On four by five? Okay. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh, so it's so clean, it's very crispy. While 4x5 in the SX70 needs to be done way more, and I plan to in the future, we had similar issues with flatness and shots going missing in development with 35, leading to some wonky strips that have no pairs. Even so, pretty sharp. Though cameras like the SX70 and Go can more easily be rigged for this process, three boys in the bag. Spectra, Captiva, and iZone are defunct formats. So we not only had to make them backwards compatible with sheet and roll film, but in the case of Captiva, bring an entirely dead camera back to life. The science is impure. Only one man will take this risk. His name is Abel. It's a format very odd, Type 500. You don't see many cameras like this, uh, not even in thrift stores. And the format is long dead. So the problem is that the battery is in the cartridge and it's very hard to find cartridges with a working battery. So it's alive. Oh. <laughs> what we did was basically wiring the, the camera uh, to a Polaroid cartridge from a uh, SX70. Yeah, 600 right? camera. And now it works. <laughs> okay, that's the dark slide. There we go. Oh. There we go. Dark slides out for the first time in 20 years. Okay, power's on, and we even we get a try. The the flash is working and all. What do we got? Do we got spread? Zero spread. Zero spread. <laughs> While this horrific Franken Captiva failed our test with roll film due to the camera acting fairly strict about when it fires the shutter, when it thinks the dark slide is still inside, we did manage to squeak out a couple of very sharp Polaroid Go frames inside. So I guess I'll say it. We save Captiva. And what about iZone? This magical iZone was once the bread and butter of my wife, Lauren, and we jolted it back to life, thanks to iZone only requiring AAA batteries to function. iZone film was manually yanked out of the camera like pack film, so the batteries just controlled the flash. Oh, this was just stuck to the side. Oh, this is the iZone shot. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Oh my God. Holy Ooh. shit. No freaking wow. way. It's sharp. Dude, we, we, we saved Isaac. Again, yes. I mean, we check saved it Isaac. Check off the list, we saved another I film format. Saved. Things we've saved today. We saved uh, Spectra. Uh, we're bringing back Spectra with four or five sheets. Captiva. Captiva, Captiva? Both. We save both. SX-70 black and white black frames. We save iZone. We save some some baby pandas, some baby penguins. We're, We're off screen. What, what a team of heroes we have right here. Wow, uh, that was quite an experience. Um, I think we had a variety of successes and failures. Yep. Some of the highlights I think were four by five in the SX-70 and Spectra. Yep. Those were freaking incredible. Uh, Abel, why don't you walk us through our biggest failure? Oh, I will say that the Captiva didn't go as we planned. Um, they, we tried a bit with Go Film to see how it was uh, uh, working and it was kind of like a, a hit or miss. Sometimes yeah. it will be great, other times it will not work. And the times we shoot it with 35, none of those work. Seeing us hot wire a 20 year old, 30 year old dead camera and also seeing 4x5 come out of a Polaroid camera. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a banger. That was absolutely that was, crazy. That was, that was a little banger. Yeah. All right, well, at any rate, I think it was worth a try and I think we got some really, really crazy stuff think, out of it. Well, and I think one of the big successes was the eyes up. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The eyes up. The eyes up. We cannot sleep on the fact that yes. we got a successful shot of an eyes up. That was good. That was good. Thank 
goodness the iZone took AAA batteries because it'll it bypassed all the headaches of the fact that like the film would normally have to have the batteries. A thing that Polaroid thought would age cameras better because there were no corrosive batteries inside the cameras, yeah. but for once it came through with the iZone. Yeah. Also it was a it was great to see a uh, Spectra shooting out, out there, actually yep. making pictures uh, with Mrs. Spectra. But this, of course, gave us a taste of how it was back in the day. Yeah, it gave us a little taste, and I, I kind of want the whole meal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, thank you for watching in an instant. Go ahead and press that subscribe button really freaking hard, and put your hands in a dark bag and maybe do it in there. Uh, stay tuned for more tips, tricks, strange videos, reviews, breakdowns, and all things instant and maybe you'll see these clowns again. Uh, comment below if you'd like to see these clowns again. Whew. Yeah, I would say. What? <laughs> There's nothing in there? There's nothing here. Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one. Oh my god. <laughs>